Hey everyone, welcome back to Lazy Grandpa's Garage. We're going to do something a little different today. I don't have any videos on chainsaws. I normally don't work on them. But I happen to have a still MS362CM in my garage. I see a lot of videos on the same problem. Choke lever won't go down into the choke position. Let's go check it out. So here it is. The steel MS362C. That's what I have here. So what is the problem? Well, problem is right down here. See if I can get you. I got the lever here. Off. Run. Choke. Problem is, it, it, it doesn't want to go down to choke. It's really hard. So let's pop this cover off and see what we can do. You do want to use your chainsaw tool or a regular screwdriver will work as well. Just cover off. All right. Now that we have the cover off, you pull the trigger and try to pull this down, and it doesn't want to go, as you've seen in the other part. Notice this. This rod is binding up. on the screw head here so you're having that problem as well huh? well to me I think this is coming back too far and that's why it's binding up because you go to pull it and now it wants to hit the screw if you pull it over there now you can move it but it's coming up too far and it's binding up there so let's take a look at what's going on here. Pull you back here a little bit. Pull the air filter off. Okay. So if you look inside here. Can you see it? Try to move this around. You see that down there? The butterfly is bent. So let's pull the carburetor off so we can get that off, or at least get this plastic off so we can get to that butterfly and see if we can straighten that out. So we'll use a 516 socket. You have a nut here and one inside here. So let's get those off. So, to get this off, let's make life a little easier so we don't lose the rod. Pop the rod up out of there. Let's take that out. Set it off to the side so we don't lose it. What I like to do so I don't lose it, throw it right inside the air filter. You know you're not going to lose it. Same thing with the two nuts you took off. Throw them in there. Not going to hurt anything. Get our trusty chainsaw tool in there. And we need to pry this out and up. We need to pry that up. And we're going to need to do the same thing on this side. Now, you're going to want to be careful. As you can see, there's a wire right here. So that wire is going to come up out of place. Now you have that out of there. And again, there's that wire there. And on this side, there's a yellow wire going here. So you're going to be careful so you don't, you don't want to ruin those wires. 
Hold your carburetor in place. You can pop that out. And let's pop this ground wire out of there so we can swing this to the side. So now that we have this out of the way, we're going to take some needle nose pliers. You can use tweezers, whatever you got. Go inside this hole here and hold that tight and kind of gently pull back at you. Not hard. I mean, you're not, you don't want to rip it apart. You're just holding it and loosen up the screw. And you're just pulling towards you so you can get that and pull the screw out so nothing falls inside the carburetor. So now you got that out and it's all in one. Do you see it? The butterfly is bent. And I think that's what's causing the problem is it's letting it close too far and it's binding that up. So let's straighten it out. Okay. Being careful, let's get this all back together. Get the holes lined up for the bolts. And very carefully. Pop that one back down in place. Alright, you may need to grab a screwdriver, your chainsaw tool, and just give that just a little bit of room so it can pop down in there. wires push back down in there and all right so we got to seat that one over there and before you say that, I poked a hole with the pick and laid it flat and used the flat end to push down, not the pointy end. So, there was no poking holes. Let's do the same thing here. Just kind of push it down in. Got a wire here that's got to go in this spot. So Maneuver that over there. And do the same thing. Pop it into place. You want to make sure all your wires are back where they had them. Can you still see all right? Not too dark? Hope not. All right. I like to take and put the nut inside the socket, hold it with my finger, and get it over the nut and start it. I do that because it's good practice for when we do this one. So that nut doesn't go down inside the carburetor. All right, so we're gonna get it on there. You, we're not gonna tighten it up because we gotta get the other one. We want to try to tighten them up evenly. Again, take the nut, put it in the socket, hold it with your finger, so your finger is also down on the, the nut or the bolt, and just slowly put it in. And you do want these nice and snug. Do not over tighten them because you, you don't want to break any plastic or strip anything out. This is all soft metal. All right, so that's on. And now your linkage rod. The hook end goes to the carburetor side. 
this end goes to the lever. So we're gonna put that in there. Carefully pop that linkage rod all the way down on there. Moment of truth. There we have it. It's working. Give you the side view. Bring it over here. Bring it up. Hope you can see this. So, pull the trigger. Pull the lever down. And it locks in. So now the choke is working again. So that's that. So, throw this back on. Your air filter. It's got an oval hole in there. Line the oval up with that. And just give it a light twist. And it locks on. Take your cover. Get it back on. Helps you put the cover back on the right way. That usually helps. Trusty steel chainsaw tool. And lock it in. And that's that. Pull the trigger, pops it up in the run. Let's see if you do it this way so you can see. Push this down, pull the trigger up. And again, it's working. Won't go down unless you pull the trigger. And it's locking in again. So that's what it was. The butterfly gets bent. It's an easy fix. So it's the moment you've been waiting for. We got it back together. Or will it run? Let's see. Decompression off. Choke set. Brake on.